GeekBuzz CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hey, this is Nixie Pixel here at CES 2013 at the XI3 booth with the Chief Marketing Officer, David Politis, here to talk about the Piston modular computer. Are you excited? Beyond belief. It's been so crazy and, well, yeah, we've won awards. Uh, here's a piston inside of here. This is, of course, a model of the XI3 modular computer based upon our first product. We introduced it two years ago at CES. Had fun with Rev3 back then. What makes it unique, not just because it's small enough to fit in your hand, but we took the basic motherboard and then divided it into three component pieces, all connected together kind of in a block U shape. That means then that what I can do is I can take it apart. Plug and play. Plug and play. And when new tech comes out, I don't have to buy a new computer or give it to my little sister, sell it on eBay. I buy a new card. And then I put that new card in here. And where do we get these components? Because these aren't like standard. They're not, and we are making new cards all the time, and we'll be coming out with different cards designed to do different things for our customers, right? Including adding on additional throughput, or for example, like when USB 4 comes out, or a new HDMI standard, we'll be there to help you take your tech to that next level. So that's the Xbox. It's available today, $499 US, and up from there, it's more of an entry-level computer. But and how, how is it cooled real quick? Because it looks like a tiny little fan, but I think I remember you saying the chassis is kind of the, beauty, the beautiful thing There's about it. a couple pieces, actually, and so for your camera dude, see heat sink right here, of course, but this is aluminum. Aluminum is a great conductor of heat, and so not only does the heat sink serve to transfer heat away from the processor and the RAM. But Good airflow. You can see here, of course, that you have clips that actually connect, draw heat away, but you can see through that kind of, right? So you get the airflow through as well, and that's where the fan also helps. That's awesome. All but right. It's only 20 watts of power. So a standard desktop computer that's 100 watts, 200 watts of power for this same processor, we're one-tenth or better as far as the amount of my, mine is a thousand watts. It's also like 20 million pounds. Speaking of which, I th so in October, what we did is we announced a new product, the 7A, through Kickstarter. And although Kickstarter we didn't fund, it was wildly successful because it showed how much interest there was in a powerful user experience using XI3. So. Here at the show, we are showing off this. And this is the X7A, and it's pretty The piston, yeah. Yeah, so let me clarify on that. So the X7A is a quad-core machine. It's 3.2 gigahertz AMD processor, 384 graphic cores that are programmable discrete class, and eight gigabytes DDR3 RAM triple monitor support, two mini display ports, and a HDMI display port. But these are mini- And it's super light. Oh, yeah, that's not, it's under yeah. Two pounds, don't do that. <laughs> it's under two pounds. Don't make people think it's heavy, because it's not, okay? Guess what, guys? Ford launches the automotive industry's first open mobile app developer program, enabling software developers to integrate their apps with Sync AppLink. The Ford developer program provides a software development kit technical support from Ford engineers and a developer community. Thanks again to Ford for powering this GeekBuzz CES coverage.